Hi everyone, my name is Juno. I have a health science background and I'm the author of the book Truth and Empathy, How to Find Your Soulmate. And I'll put the link to the book below. This video is the MBTI Prince Type Assessment of Matthew Hussey. Again, when it comes to the MBTI Prince Types, they can be grouped into four main ones. The first one are sensor judgers, second, sensor perceivers, third, intuitive thinkers, and the last one, intuitive feelers. To me, Matthew Assi is a sensor perceiver, and I will explain why. Again, I put some notes here so I don't miss anything. Matthew Hussey is 33 years old now, single, no children, and uh, he is British. Uh, he has uh, written the book uh, Get the Guy, which is, was a bestseller. He is a human dynamics coach. Uh, he has created the Get the Guy dating advice for women programs and the Love Life radio show. He has been the resident love expert on the Today Show, and right now he lives in Los Angeles. What is kind of interesting with uh, Matthew Hussey, like with uh, most sense of perceivers, is that they tend to want to start their own company. In this case, he has focused on romantic relationships, dating, uh, but you'll see that they can just finish high school and already have an idea to start a company. He, in his case, he started uh, giving advice actually to man, and he was only like, what, 18 or 19 years old. That when it comes to sense of perceivers is this ability to be uh, fearless when it comes to uh, creating their own path. So it's not that he had, uh, let's say, someone who in his family who was doing the same thing, but he decided this is his path. And the fact that he wanted to focus on human relationships tells me that he is a feeler. And when it comes to someone who's a feeler and is a sense of perceiver, it's going to be introverted feeling in their first or second function. And uh, why also I think that he's a feeler is that uh, in one of his uh, radio interviews, he was saying the fact that uh, in uh, one of his relationships, earlier one that was really significant, the person said that he was so focused on his business that he neglected that relationship. Um, and if, let's say, someone was an extroverted feeler, you rarely would hear this type of criticism from a partner because people who are extroverted feelers uh, very much focus on other people's needs, whereas people who are introverted feelers are more focused on being authentic. So they are more likely to be self-absorbed and neglect relationships that do matter to them. So that's why I would say that, you know, it fits well with being a feeler who is a sensor perceiver. The other aspect I'll say with uh, uh, when it comes to Matthew Hussey is that he, um, he's quite empathic. So let's say, obviously, if you're going to talk about relation and feeling so forth, is that he has to come across as engaging. And that's how uh, we perceiving, I think, with most of these audiences, is that he's that person that you, you would want to call him up and, and sort of share something that's very personal. And his radio show, um, you know, really uh, is in line with that, is that you have these callers, you know, expressing, um, you know, certain concerns about their relationship, even in terms of, let's say, self-esteem or talk about body image and so forth. And him being a man, uh, be able to sort of uh, console, you know, women like that, he has to have this type of empathy. Uh, there so, isn't this misconception if someone is a man, then they're less empathic. But uh, Matthew Hussey is a prime example of an heterosexual man who is uh, very uh, uh, sort of like uh, empathic and also who's able to uh, be in touch with one's feelings. Mm -hmm. If someone is a mask energy, they're less likely to elicit this type of response from an audience. The other aspect also, he mentioned in one of his videos that um, he is the type of person who likes a lot of physical affection. He said that his mother actually spoiled him that way. So you don't see that when it comes to mask energy. Uh, they tend to not uh, wanting to have a lot of uh, 
you know, you know, hugs and and being physically close to people, even people they really like. They like more of their their sort of physical distance, and they're not really into uh, intimacy. And uh, the other point when it comes to Matthew Hussey is that he mentioned that to recharge, he needs to be on his own. So this is typical of someone who is an introvert. And interesting enough, the fact that he is good at navigating relationships is in line with someone who is uh, an, a feeler, but also that his um, intuition, introvert intuition, is at a higher sort of slot. So I would say that um, Matthew Hussey would have uh, his introvert intuition function higher up in the stack. So based on that, I would say that he is an ISFP because ISFPs, in terms of their first function, is introverted feeling. Second function is extroverted sensing and their third function is introverted intuition. So in other words, when you actually listen to him, you can tell that is someone who's uh, of all the, the sense of perceivers is, is the one who's more in touch with the deeper side of relationships and life and in terms of the self. And so that's why he has sort of an edge when it comes to being good at giving advice when it comes to relationships. To summarize, I think that Matthew Hussey is an ISFP because uh, very early on when he was just 18 or 19 years old, he decided to start a business. So that is very much in line with sense of perceivers. They don't like to be uh, employees. They like to be an employer. And so he started this business, but he focused on a uh, human relationship and dating. So that is more in line with someone who's a right predominant or a feeler. So because he's, I would say that he's a sense of perceiving a feeler, his first function is probably, or, or second function would be introverted feeling. So he's someone who's very much about how uh, he wants to be authentic uh, in the minute when you actually listen to him talk, he's someone that really emphasizes that. And the fact that he is an introvert, he gets recharged by being a loner with maybe just a few people, means that he's probably an ISFP. And with ISFPs, their third function is introvert intuition. So it gives him sort of a, a deeper understanding. So he's someone who can sort of have more access to his sort of like um, subconscious mind to actually understand things deeper. So he comes across as someone who's rather reflective and likes to think things through. So he doesn't give um, sort of like a, a prepackaged uh, easy answers to relationship, uh, you know, uh, uh, challenges. So you can see this depth and that is very much in line with someone who's an ISFP because of all the sense of perceivers, they are the most intuitive because of where the introvert intuition is uh, in their functioning stack, which is the third one. So um, I trust that this uh, video was interesting. Maybe you learned something. If you did, please click on the like button, subscribe to my channel, and we will talk soon.